Okay, in this video, we're going to be doing the electronics. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to install the pickup. So basically, just install everything before we do the wiring. Screws in, springs in. Middle pickup. And the last one. Sometimes I actually prefer the, the springs because uh, these rubber guys, you know, over the years, they sometimes might harden up or they might melt a little bit. It gets very messy. But since this is what it gave me, let's just work with this. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks sleek. So these are CTS parts. The direction of the selector actually doesn't matter, but I always like to have the screw, the spring outside, because uh, when the wiring comes down here, I don't, I don't want the spring to get in the way, of like, and whatever. So I just always put the spring outside. Different switches are made differently, so in order to find the, the center point to connect the two ends, you just gotta see which are the lugs that the switch doesn't hit. Uh, see this guy here? He's moving around. So the only one that it does not touch is the last one here. So you know this is the common. And for the other side, it should be the opposite. So it should be the last one. So these two are the common ones. You want to just wire them together. If you're going to be using any tone controls. Spring on the outside. Okay, so we're done. So the next step is to wire them up. I'm going to be cutting the wires, just uh, I don't want to leave a mess inside here. I just measure these guys up, I give them about 2 centimeters of excess. The capacitor I'm using is at 0 0.1, so uh, I'm just trying it out, not sure if I'll like it or not. i get some of these wires. So these two are the tone pots, this is the volume pot. This is going to be the ground, so I'm going to install the pot up here. Just find the length of it, snip it off, get a knife. One thing I, I always use when I'm wiring, I just get a wrench, I tie a rubber band on the end. So what I do is flip it on here, and it just holds it in place like that. It's always important to tip the ends of your wires first to get a better connection. I'm just gonna get some solder onto the lug. When you're soldering, it's always uh, in and out. Yeah, you wanna go in fast, you get out fast. You don't wanna hold the, you don't hold things there for too long, and in the end, you know, you cause like burns or cold solder joints. So I'm just gonna connect the wire here. Now the two lugs are connected. I'm just gonna attach the cap here. So I'm just gonna add a solder joint here and just gonna connect it. Okay, and we got it. That's it. So it's looking good. We got this one down. Later we're gonna use these two lugs, the left one and the center one here. Connect them to the, the five-way switch. So now we're gonna just ground this lug on the left. Now this one goes to the main output. So this one is connected to, to the five-way switch here. So it connects to the common ground. So it connects everything together basically. So I'm going to be doing that later. Now we're going to connect this. The common grounds first. So I was explaining to you earlier how to find the common ground. For my case, it's going to be these two here. Because uh, some switches might be different. You can't just follow a wiring diagram. You have to actually know a little bit of uh, the components that you're using. Because not all the components are the same. We're going to tint the two ends again. Like I always say, it's always important to tint the ends to get a good connection. We have to add some solder to the lugs here. Okay, I'm just going to connect this here. And you know your solder joint is good when uh, it's still shiny. Okay, when you see it uh, kind of has a matte finish to it, that occurs when you don't... When you're still... when you're moving the wires while, while the solder is cooling, uh, cooling down. So you just want to make sure your hole still. So the two common common ones are connected now, and I'm going to connect it to 
the volume part. There you go. And into the right lug over here. going to use this for neck and middle and it's going to be bridge so for this for this five way switch this is going to be the neck middle and the bridge pickup so i'm going to use the same port for the neck and middle so i'm going to be connecting the wires to these two and this one is just solely for the bridge strip it twist it tint it strip it twist it tint it always remember these these three steps i'm actually going to strip a longer length here and the reason I'm doing that is so that I can just straight away connect this wire to these two over here so the same thing we want to be we want to tint the whole thing here so it's connected to the uh, to the neck and middle so I'm gonna be just attaching them here Okay, so you can see this wire is connect. Uh, the neck, neck and middle is connected to the second tone pot and the first tone pot. I'm gonna connect the bridge, strip it, twist it, tint it. Okay, so we're done connecting the tone pots. Let's tuck them in together and make it look neat. And now I'm going to do the grounding and after the grounding we wire the pickups in and we're done. So for the grounding, you just want to connect the top. I'm just trying to make it look as neat as possible so I'm thinking how to do this. Actually I'm just going to connect it on the right side here. Heat up the joint, add the wire in and let go. Done. So it still looks shiny and good. You always want to heat up the joint, not the wires, okay? Because when you heat up the wire, especially when you work with pickups, if you're putting your soldering iron on the wire itself, what you're doing is you're transferring the heat and the heat might go into the pickup and damage the electronics. So always heat up the joint and not the wire itself. So the grounding is done. We are going to work with the pickups now. So the bridge is going to be here. Bridge, middle and neck. So I'm going to strip it around here. Where's my... Black is hot and green is ground. So the series... Uh, the series ones are these two. I'm gonna strip the two ends off. So I'm not gonna split the pickups now. So if I'm not splitting the pickups, you have to connect the two series together, which in this case is the red and the white one. Twist it together and just tint it, that's it. That's all you have to do. And a little bit. Just connect the solder the two, two together. And what I do, I will use heat shrink to cover up, use the soldering iron, just go near it, or you can just barely touch it. You can see the tube shrinking, shrink like that, just pinch the end together, and you're done. So these guys will not touch anything else. You can use, if you don't have a heat shrink, you can use tape to tape it up as well. And now you just strip the end of the green wire. The green is the ground. Twist the ends together, bare and green. Solder them. Just form a strong connection. Just like my relationship with my girlfriend or my fiance. Okay, so we've got the ground here, and now we work with the the hot. Let's strip the end as quick as possible, just to prevent any heat from getting into the. Uh, into the components. So I'm just going to tint all the lugs here. And I'll connect the hot. Okay, so the bridge pickup is almost done. Just need to connect the ground here. This one, 
There's the middle pickup. Middle pickup goes here. You have to be careful not to press in too hard because sometimes if you cut in too hard, you might accidentally cut into the wires as well. So bear that in mind if you're using this technique. Okay, so for the bare wires, you want to get them out. Get them all to one side like that and then just twist them together. So the same thing for the red and white. I'm going to solder them together. Cut them shorter and solder them together. Okay, so just tend the end. Get my heat shrink. I think I'm going to use a heat shrink to cover up the bare hair as well. I just don't like the, any exposed wires. Okay, so now we're going to do the, the hot wire first. These copper wires are really, really, really fine. So just be careful when you're stripping them. So at, at least there's no exposed wires around. I'm just going to tip the end here. Now the next step, connect the hot to the lux. So now the last one here, you're just going to cut the same length. attach these pickups, I mean uh, this pickguard into the guitar. But before we do that, we have to wire this up as well, the input jack. Let's attach the knob here. I'm gonna get the body of the guitar. This guitar is so beautiful. Every time I look at it, I'm like... As I was saying, let's get the pickguard off the way first. Okay, so we're gonna need a ground wire that connects in here. Uh, in one of the videos, I actually sanded, sanded the tip here, so the connection for the solder is easier. So you want to go from here, there should be a hole. Yep, there's a routing hole at the side, and goes out from here. So I'm just going to cut a, a good length first. It's a little bit more than what we might need. I'm going to go out the hole. The hole is here. Should come out the back. There it is. The same thing goes, we want to strip the end. Now, we're gonna uh, get the joint here. Heat it up, there we go. If you don't, if you don't uh, use a sandpaper or file to file this part, it's gonna be very difficult for the solder to stick to this smooth surface here. So you have to, to scratch it a little bit. So the next step, we just wanna connect the wire, and we're done. So there we go, it's wired here. This one here, this goes, this con it will connect to the grounding of the pick guard. The next thing you want to do, find the length of wire you need to connect these two guys here. So I'm going to use a red for hot and grey for ground. I always like to, to cut off more than what we need. Because uh, if you are going to be setting up the guitar in the future, or 
if the wire is so short, right, imagine it's just like that, and it's connected, it's connected here. So if you need to remove the pick guard, if it's too short, you're going to have trouble like turning it because uh, the wire is going to be tugging in. There's not going to be enough length. So it's always good to have more, so you can pull out the whole pick guard and flip it over. Just use this to clip it. Hold it in place. Okay. If you're new to wiring, uh, the simplest way of uh, to know which lug is for ground and which lug is for hot. So this is where the hot output is. So you can see this part is touching. So this is your hot lug. So you just trace this down and you can see it's here, it connects to this one over here. So in case you have like stereo jack with uh, three of this, you can, you can know which one to wire it and how to trace it. So it's always the, the higher one is always ground because it's connected to the end here and it's touching the grounding which is this guy here. Another tip, you don't want to wire this and then try to <laughs> fit, okay, because the hole for Stratocaster and for guitars it's always good to, to note this first, if not you're going to be doing a lot of extra work. So you, I don't know if you can see the hole in there, the, the hole for the wire, it's actually lower than the hole over here, which is high, which is up here. So it's very difficult to go from down. I'll show it to you. I'll show you. It's very difficult to find. Okay, for this case, it's easy. It's well routed. But for other guitars, sometimes you're you're pushing this in, and it, it just it just doesn't go up. It doesn't come up here. For other guitars, you just want to make sure that you know you you feed the wire from the high hole down to the low one, and then you do the soldering. Sometimes on most guitars, it's very difficult to push the wire out the top over here. Okay, so just a little uh, notes or something you should remember when you're wiring guitars. Just remember you want to heat up the joints instead of the wires. So you heat up the joint, once you see the, the solder becomes liquid, add in the wire and you let go. Get these wires out of the way so when the cable comes in it doesn't get in the way. And grab a drink. It's my uh, cucumber drink. Cucumber. 95% water. So ground, ground, hot. You just don't want to damage any of the finish. So the hot is gonna be connected to the middle, the middle lock here. And the two ground, they're just gonna go down here. I wanna have uh, lesser soldering points as possible. So you see, I'm heating out the component first. Once it's wet, I add the wires in, and you just like make sure they're in place. That's it. So we're done with the wiring. And uh, now we just have to install the pickguard, and we are good to go. And how do you wanna test the pickups? Uh, if you have a, if you have not strung it, get a screwdriver or any metal. You can, use, you can even use uh, any metal. So just make sure all the knobs are on. And uh, now it's selected to the bridge, so you just tap the coils. So you can hear the sound coming from the amp. And you can even adjust the tone control to hear the sound difference. Right? And the volume. And just make sure the other ones are not active. That's just how you test uh, all the uh, whether the pickups are working or not, alright? Okay, so uh, I'm just going to assemble all of this together and uh, in the next video we're going to be doing the setup. Okay, thank you very much.